lots of slip outs already this morning. That snow came down immediately coated things mm -hmm. and we started to notice the slip offs immediately. Wow, just like a light switch with, yeah, exactly. with that sort of thing. So uh, that's one of many as you've been saying. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, we'll try not to become one of those today. Please be careful out there. We've got again roads completely covered and it may be a little surprising at first. The uh, road may actually have a little bit of traction, but after you get some vehicles to roll over the top of it, it can compress down the snow, almost making a layer of ice underneath. So it can actually get worse as more traffic travels over it. And the, the salt is just not going to work today. It's too cold. So uh, we are only going to see the plows going by trying to clear it, but there's going to be wind with this and it's blowing the snow around. With that, it's just going to cover those spots that just got plowed over again. All right, so here's another look again from the KB Complete Skyview Network. This is uh, again looking back from the Power and Light Apartments. Still seeing some flakes coming down and the wind uh, coming out of the north with that. So again, it's blowing snow, keeping roads like I-435. And here's US-69, practically covered, but even where it's blown off from traffic, it could easily get covered back or get compressed down into that, that icy layer that we're talking about. So it is slippery out there, no doubt. Also very cold, low teens. We have some upper teens down to the south and east, but even single digits, St. Joseph, nine, three degrees in Hiawatha. So this is a very cold day we've got. Now we are adding to that pretty long list of days that we have seen with snow going all the way back to October 14th. No wonder it seemed like such a long winter. Our first snow was the earliest ever back then. And now it's the me most uh, we've measured in the earliest uh, point in time. But here we go. We're going to add to this list. We're going to add it number 39 starting with today. And uh, we'll see exactly how much we total up to. But we've already had several days over an inch and we're likely going to add to that. We've already measured an inch here in Kansas City. All right, so we had a bit of a burst of uh, heavier snow there earlier. We are watching back here. There is a kind of a disturbance rolling through. If it holds together, we'll continue to see some moderate to even uh, occasionally heavy snow through the next couple of hours. But Powercast is going to show at least through 6 p uh, 6 a.m. Excuse me, moving into around the 8 or 9 o'clock hour. We're going to start to see things slowly tapering off by 10 to 11. It should be done with and we should actually see Again, some at least clear skies as far as not seeing any more precipitation, but clouds will still be lingering around a bit. All right, tonight, Arctic air is going to blast in. We're going to see our temperatures get knocked way back, even more. Low single digits by 10 negatives possible tonight, especially north of I-70. So it's showing around zero to minus one across Kansas City, and that's going to continue to stay pretty cold even into Monday, slowly warming back up to the middle teens by the end of the afternoon. We'll get some sunshine in there, and that will help things out. So today, slick roads, a definite. The blowing snow, a definite. Power outages look low. That's because the snow's not sticking to trees, but the wind is blowing around, so we could see some of those weakened branches come down, but we're not expecting big problems with power outages, and then the bitter cold comes in right behind. So your weather timeline, through 10 a.m., the snow will taper off. We're still talking two to three inches in Kansas City, but some higher totals possible to the south. And again, today and tonight, that compacted snow will lead to slick roads. The salt is going to be ineffective today, too cold. And tonight it's going to be even colder. Temperatures near zero. Wind chill minus 10 to minus 15. Now this is nothing out of the ordinary if it were January, but this is a little uh, extreme, I guess you could say, for early March to be in the negatives, but not completely unheard of. At least we're going to get some sunshine Monday and Tuesday, which will help. Uh, at least maybe with the uh, salt and chemicals to work and melting away. Another system possible by Thursday. We'll be right back.